We are heading to the store. So we're heading to the store so I can get plants for my garden. Yeah, this light on, that's gonna annoy me in editing. <laughs> Never piss off your editor, okay? <laughs> I make you interesting. Mm. Oh, that is a pretty dog. Oh, I love doggies. Speaking of, look who's with us today. Shaggy. Shagman. He loves going to the store. And we're going to a specific store. And can we mention it? If yeah, we can mention okay. it. Like, they're so not going to. We're going to Lowe's, <laughs> but we're not sponsored, unfortunately. Yeah, it's just free advertising for Lowe's, really. <laughs> Despite what the calendar says, it is spring in my heart. And so we are going to the store to get plants because Mama needs some plants in the house. Because, as Roman will tell you, when I have not been outside for a little while, I turn into a really depressed sad sack. Yeah. <laughs> You need to feel the earth on your feet and the sun in your face. It's so Otherwise, true. you're a depressed little shell. <laughs> so, in order to clear up the air and start fresh, we are going to get some plants that are really, really easy to take care of, but also really, really good for the air. They, they have a lot of great oxygenation abilities. <laughs> I'm looking specifically for a couple of plants, but if they don't have them, it's okay. Do the, uh, well, these plants all look pretty great. Ooh, I think, did I find one of the ones I was looking for? Let's see. This one is pretty. Look at this. Quartz uh -huh. for five dollars. Whereas this is six quarts. Here are our finalists. Aloe, the purple waffle, the grass, which is called Dracania marginata, and then of course the ivy. And these are what's gonna go in the garden. I started out with these terracotta pots. They were still kind of dirty from some plants, cleaned them up, and then I started painting. For this first one, I decided I was going to do a cat face. It reminded me of my sister's cat, Leroy and Diego. They are two of my favorite cats in the whole wide world, and they are both black cats. And so I thought every time I looked at this, I would think of their cute little faces. Now I painted the edge up here because I am a weird completist and needed to not see an edge. All right, this next one, we're going gold. This one's going to be for the ivy, and I wanted something that would reflect the light real well because this needs some good sunlight. It is a cactus. I wanted it to have all the light chances possible, so the gold I thought would look the best and also give it the most reflective light. Look at that kitty face. Doesn't it just look like every adorable black cat ever? Meow. Meow. I got these rocks. You can get them from the store or you could go to collect them out in the wilderness, whatever you prefer. I rinsed them off real well before I put them into the bottom of my plants just to make sure they didn't have anything on them because this was going to be the very bottom of the pots to work as drainage <laughs> so that they would not get overwatered. I also got plotting soil that was the best for not underwatering and overwatering, just to keep the plants in better health, <laughs> especially living in the situation we are. Look at 
look how pretty it is. I painted another one of the pots just black because I wanted it to kind of match. Um, I couldn't decide if I wanted to do another cat face on it. I thought it would look cute, but this right now we're just going to do one black and one kitty face. And this is what I'm going to split the ivy into. Now you got to be really careful when you split a plant because you don't want to split it where it doesn't want to. Now, as long as you're careful, you can do this and make sure that you keep them in the same pot and water them. They could go into shock depending, but I think putting them from their carrier straight into these pots and leaving them there, I think that'll work great. Look how pretty it is. All right, panda time. Rocks, soil, and waffle plant. This was the easiest one, and honestly, it looks so cool. This is my mini greenhouse. I had it in the convi last Christmas, but when the freeze went through and killed all my plants. I got depressed and took it to the storage unit. So we went and got it and obviously it wasn't but a good white down comb cure. Alrighty, I very carefully took the rocks and lined them in the bottom with a decent layer. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to spray them with water on a regular basis to keep them moist. So when the lids on the lid on top of the greenhouse is closed, it will help create moisture for the plants and uh, give them a little bit more of humidity, kind of simulating an actual greenhouse. Mist, mist, mist. By the way, I broke this mister right after this shot. <laughs> and there it is. You okay? I'm nervous how you listen to me. Do you want me to leave? Just put on your headphones. Oh no, it's raining. I gotta hurry. Hi guys. We are now doing an update of the garden. It has been about a week and I have split, obviously, the ivy, and both are doing actually really well. Meow. Meow. The grass is looking decent. Can you guys believe? I got this with my wooden spatulas, and it looks great. So the grass is still alive. So the only one that has not survived is my purple waffle plant. I'm pretty sure it's just dead. That's the thing about living in an RV. You had to choose some plants with a little bit of hardiness to them because you don't always have the best temperature control, especially when it's colder out, and we've had some colder nights, and while I've tried to keep the plants relatively warm, this one didn't do so hot. The ivy is holding up real nicely, but that's because the temperature hasn't dropped below 40 degrees at night, so this would probably be dead if it got any colder. The aloe is still alive as well. Um, it is not on camera because I didn't have enough room on my table but it is looking great. It was a baby aloe that my dad gave me that he had grown himself and so hopefully now I can make it grow. I really, I'm really happy having plants now in, in my life again. So yeah, I do recommend if you live in a small space like this, it is important to have at least some sort of plant life because it can get stuffy depending on the weather. You can have vents and everything like that, but you are living in a tight little space. The aloe plant gives off a lot of good oxygen, good for hot, warm places, and also you can use its healing properties to help with cuts, burns, scrapes, anything. It feels great and I've, I've had an aloe plant in my house for my whole life and I would recommend it to anybody. Second plant would obviously be ivy. I keep touching the ivy. I just adore ivy. I would not recommend this unless you do not have pets. We have three dogs, so this stays inside the greenhouse to keep it separate from the dogs. So in order to keep your pet safe, I would say skip on this specific grass, but other grasses are really, really good for oxygen. And having a plant in your bedroom, you know, near your bed at night, it will be really, really good for a good night's sleep, for some, like, fresh, you know, rejuvenation for yourself. If anyone has any plant advice, in the, put it in the comments below. If anyone has any plant suggestions, also put that in the comments below because I would love to know, you know, maybe what I did wrong with this, other than probably the cold, the cold at night. It looks so sad. I'm so sorry, little dude. So everybody have a great day, happy spring, and toodles noodles.